All right, everyone, it's time for a little bit of a garden update because things are growing well. There's a new recording uh, set up here, obviously, much higher quality than before. We've got sunflower plants almost waist high. Uh, lots of little cucumbers. They're Nicosiana in this bed, and I, need, I know I need to weed it again, but that's all good. And all the beans are actually um, well ahead of where they would usually be for when they were planted. Even the morning glory are actually doing very well. Those are the heavenly blue kind. I destroy all the purple ones. Uh, some people think that they're going to take over the garden or something. That will actually never happen. This is not a tropical climate, so they're incapable of going to seed. We've got beets, again with some flowers here. Those are looking pretty well, uh, again, for this time of year. It's not even quite July. And all of the yellow squash in the middle there, you know, they're about average size or maybe a little bit below that, but that's okay. There's some black-eyed Susans, various chamomile plants. And as you can see, there's chamomile all the way down. And the corn and beans here, it's a different type of bean, uh, range from being somewhat behind to about on par with where they should be, uh, generally speaking. It looks like what happened is the corn and beans closer to the woods there uh, are doing better than on this side. I'm not exactly sure. I think it has something to do with the shade of the afternoon. And of course, zucchini plants. Uh, those actually, I think, will be properly spaced. I put in more beans here in place of where the greens had been because they refused uh, to germinate properly and those that germinated uh, didn't really survive. They, I don't know whether it was disease or pest related. It certainly wasn't pH. I already tested for that. It's absolutely perfect. The cabbages, though, uh, the ones that I left, are roughly where they should be. Uh, those probably will produce five nice cabbages, which is, I mean, that's all you need. And another sunflower here, again, about waist high. Would you look at how much the tomato plants grew? I'm just joking, of course. Uh, I ended up getting actual already pre-sprouted tomatoes to put in there. Uh, half of those are beefsteak, the other half are like the standard tomatoes that you would buy. And those are doing pretty well. There's some wilt on the bottom, but that's fairly normal. They got fertilized. They're puffing right up. The only two cherry tomatoes that are left are this one here, and then right here on the other end, this one. And those had been the largest of the bunch. Those are actually only slightly behind, and they're fast recovering. Uh, the rest of them didn't do so well. The little flowery area. This, of course, is Artemisia absinthium. Uh, it's got, a, again, a little bit of wilt on the bottom. I think it's because it's been raining so much, actually, more than anything else. Over here, lots of extremely nice carrots. Um, these are basically perfect. And I know they're a little bit closely spaced, but actually, if you're fertilizing them properly, I've never had a problem with them producing extremely large carrots uh, in that arrangement, so I'm not too worried about it overall. And then you've got big clump of chamomile flowers here. You can see uh, they're basically ready to begin harvesting, and then pumpkins in the middle there as well. And there are other plants, you know, various flowers. Most of the flowers I ever retain are Nicosiana, and I've destroyed about 90% of those this year as well. And I realize this area, even with the mulch, is a little bit overgrown. That's okay though, because you can literally just mow it like any other part of the lawn. Uh, put a little bit more mulch in the areas that are spawning, you know, some inordinate amounts of grass, and it should be all good. Next year, I might actually mulch around the outside, too, just so that I don't really have to mow at all. But you can see, uh, the key for corn is knee-high by the 4th of July. And this is roughly knee-high, and we've still got, you know, almost a week to go. Some of these plants that are a little bit behind, they'll be at that level uh, by the 4th. Some of them unfortunately will probably never actually produce any corn. Uh, but on this end, these plants here are doing just fine, as are those over there. And they're not really, those ones are about on par. Usually I plant a little bit early, and so I get a little extra growth in an earlier crop. But the thing is, other people, because of the weird weather we had earlier on in the spring, we actually had a heat wave very early and then it cooled off. Uh, some of the farmers around here, their corn is, is tiny. Uh, compared to mine. I seem to have really good luck on this soil with corn. Some things on this soil do very well. Corn and beans do fine. Root crops uh, used to fail, but then I started adding more phosphate to things, and now they do fine as well. I'm wondering... Oh, that's an old 
peach that didn't make it into the compost pile. I thought that was a mushroom at first or something. But some crops do better than others, honestly. You can see the massive hostas here. Over here, it looks like something might have gotten in here and eaten some of these collards down because there are only a few left. Maybe they got killed by something else. Maybe it's some fucking disease or something. It doesn't look like I see any nibbled ends. Who cares, you know? I don't really eat collards much myself. Other people enjoy them, not me. Hosta flower, getting ready there. Yeah, but everything's pretty nice. And anywhere where chamomile comes up where it's not in open competition with anything, like right here, which is basically a spot where no beets were growing anyway, I just leave it in there because it's nice. It's a pretty flower, it attracts pollinators. And you can see out here, with the back garden, that whole big white puff is nothing but chamomile. And there's chamomile coming up now wild all over uh, the fringes of the property. And it's beginning to spread further. I don't care. I hope it spreads over the whole field. I wouldn't mind having nothing but chamomile and no grass at all down there, honestly. Stomp on this. Ugh. <laughs> Smushy. That's a good one. And yeah, leave you with a shot of one of our happy little cucumbers. That's about all. Peace out.